I live in Johnson City, and this is the coolest place to ride, Buffalo Mountain. Awesome! <laughs> I had a steady schedule going. I actually lived here instead of just being on campus and then going back and forth with home. Um, I had the mountains. I really got here and learned the area a lot better, so I had a better feel for the trails that were around. And then I got a gym membership, so it, everything just kind of fell together where the schedule, the time, the money, everything just worked to where I was like, I need to devote my time to being good at something, so decided I wanted to do mountain biking full time. In seventh grade, I decided that I wanted to start being a little bit more active for whatever reason. I just felt like I needed to be athletic since all my friends were. And so I begged my parents to buy me a mountain bike so I could ride to school. And I started pedaling to school all the time and everybody was like, oh, that's so crazy. I can't believe you're riding that far to school. And I didn't think it was that bad. And then one of my friends was like, you should enter a race. You're like Superman on bikes. And I didn't think I was that good. So I entered a race and wound up doing fifth place. And kind of just hooked, so I had fun with it. I've got a Trek Remedy, and really, it's about the best bike I've ever ridden. I love it, because I can pedal uphill all day long with it. I can race cross country if I want to, sort of, and then I can go ride downhill all day with it if I want to. It works great. Kind of the best of both worlds, so. My friend started telling me about this place called Buffalo Mountain, and when I found it, this beauty, it's all natural, rough-built trails. None of it is machine-made. The ATV trails are the best thing that's ever happened to me because there's these big old hill climbs that ATV guys like to go as fast as they can up a hill. I like to go as fast as I can down the same hill, so they build all these big old ruts and weird things they like to climb up, and it, it's a downhiller's dream because you can go like 30 miles an hour for 10 minutes straight. It's so wonderful. <laughs> I get to the bottom of the hill and I'm like, holy cow, I didn't know I could go that fast. That's when I feel the best. One of the first people that decided to sponsor me was Duro Tires. They've really helped me out a lot by giving me product and really, really pushing me. They've promoted me on their page a few times and that got me in the door. And then I got started with Hayes and EVS, awesome brand, you know, EVS Protectives. They make helmets and knee pads for me. When I tore my ACL, EVS gave me a huge discount and an awesome knee brace, so that helped me out a lot and kept me going. After a little while, once I got some credentials built up, I got on with Monster Energy, and they did awesome. They decided to promote me. They put me on their webpage, gave me the, my own website. They put me out there for all their athletes to see. I got in, entered into a few competitions with them, and that was really big when I found myself on the front page of Monster Energy. That was just fantastic. I was so excited about that. And yeah, that's that's about it, man. I, it's been awesome. Ideally, I wish that I could get on the perfect program, get all the fitness down right, have all the perfect trails to ride and the training and the time to devote to it so that I could go pro, get a pro license and, and see where that goes. Realistically, I would cry if I could be good enough to go race World Cups. It's easy to push through the pain when I'm training because I keep telling myself if I push hard enough, go fast enough, go long enough, then I'll eventually be better than everyone else in competition. I just like riding anywhere, everywhere, all the time. Up, down, and around the mountain, just as long as I'm on trails. I want to be the best in the world at everything. That's just my personality, so yeah. <laughs>